is, uh, must be the 22nd. Yeah, Friday the 22nd of October. It's almost Halloween. It's almost the end of the month. We're almost into the holiday season. And, um, boy, I had a lot of fun working on a couple of tunes this week. Uh, and they both sort of, I, I think last week I didn't have any idea what I was going to do. And I probably didn't promise anything. And I just started, I just picked up a couple of albums that really um, uh, changed, well, inspired me. One, the first one, though, has nothing to do with the two songs that happened. It was the um, uh, George Harrison's The 50th Anniversary of All Things Must Pass. Now, that sort of, that also got me to grab, boy, I went into the record store the other day, like the real LP stores. What's it called here? Um, Streetlight Records in San Jose. And um, all these big box sets of, you know, eight LP versions of Let It Be and all Things Must Pass, and then I realized I'd missed one. There, a big one had come out of um, from Abbey Road last year. And, is that right? Yeah. And so uh, um, started checking, checking these out and got really inspired by, well, you heard this, of course. Might as well play the whole thing. I really do that on the news. the shortest Beatles song ever. So I just figured, you know, that's when I toyed with the idea of putting a lesson together many, many years ago. And just thought, oh, it's such a short little thing, nobody's going to care. But I hope people have fun playing Her Majesty. It's a, it's a great idea, you know, great working on that type of picking. Learning to play with just your thumb and your index finger, like, like McCartney does. So that led me down the path of another 50th anniversary album of Deja Vu. Which, which introduced me to the, the tune, the, 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 what you just heard there, Birds, with Neil Young just doing it with Graham Nash. And uh, that, anyhow. So I hope, I know you haven't had a chance to check out those lessons probably because uh, Birds has only been up for like today. But um, that also, as I going any further with that story, this, this gets me to some hints now. I'll save the hints for next year, next, for next, for later. Because I kind of got inspired to, let's see. turn into a lesson there's not enough going on in here but interesting little sequence of chords that George came up with in there well, what happens next I'm winging here probably not going to happen but it's hard to get it out of your head when when you've got the shuffle or the just keep playing constant play loop play that's what's going on there so um okay oh and what else did we have managed to get together a um so th that was the two lessons from this week her majesty and um and uh oh birds of course and so again hearing that hearing graham nash add harmony to neil young's thing made me think uh, that song has just always haunted me, and, and so I listen to it, and and it makes it it will make a good instrumental. So that that's got to be sort of on my coming up side burner somewhere down the line too. Um, I did dig, dig up some old lessons of Max's that uh, of electric electric versions of. Uh, camp this year I walked by the campfire class that Dave was teaching and he had the whole he had like 15 people in there playing Born on the Bayou and what else is in there so um, that was it a couple lessons and a, a new electric pack of Creedence tunes but I've had really a lot of fun listening to the Neil Young archives and just ordered, it's not here yet though, volume two. So 
cool tunes to add back there. Hope everybody's still listening to old Neil Young stuff. And I guess once the uh, once Archives Volume 2 shows up here, which could be a week or two, we'll be digging up stuff from a little later, the next phase. Is that... Oh, no, it's more like On the Beach and Tonight's the Night and um, Zuma. Anyway, okay, enough rambling on about Neil. Uh, let's see. What is Here's some things that are on the horizon, though, for next week. Oh. We do have a couple new packs. I found found another couple of sets of uh, Rolling Stones tunes. I didn't realize I had five of them because we did a Rolling Stones. It was the same thing with Creedence. We did in the really early days. I think it's pack number like nine of our 150 or however many we have now. But uh, we had uh, there's a, a really early Rolling Stones one that includes 10. No, I think it's like five tunes and five IRLs. Stuff like uh, Start Me Up and oh, I can't even remember how they go now. <laughs> tuning for that for all those licks are in open g of course but i do have two three strings here the same as open g um but been listening to to george this one has grabbed me well i think i played some of this last week right but i know i have a lesson on this already such a cool progression and speaking of cool progressions Okay, now she'd come back to E, right? That's where it's going. But no! Lands on B. He's got some really strange progressions. Here's another one. between Eric Clapton and George Harrison in that tune. I'm sure you know what it is, but if not, you'll know next week because that's one of the lessons coming up next week. Um, is there another one I was just going to talk about? No, I already played, I already faked my way through this, right? And uh, I think that's it for October 22nd. Let's see, last week I, I did something in D minor, right? Let's pick a different key today. Let's, oh, I did E minor too. Oh, wait! Listen on that. Chris, how'd you learn that? Without anyway. Really cool. Here in uh, Chris and Karina play Pink Floyd. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Hmm, that's kind of fun. Okay, I think that is it for today. Next week, let's see, we're getting close. Oh, we have a lot of things going on. I have a lot of family coming in. Believe it or not, for the Halloween weekend, my son and his uh, and his wife, Nora, are coming to San Francisco for some concert that we hope all goes well with. And also, it is almost raining here. We're supposed to be it's supposed to be gushing by now, but it's a, and it's a little it's early in the afternoon. So um, I was kind of hoping for a lot more this morning. I was planning on not doing the, the news this morning because I thought, oh, it'll be pouring. Never did, but we got a little bit a little bit of water here. So things are looking better in California. Okay, I hope everybody has a good weekend. And um, keep those cards and requests coming. I haven't seen many in a while, but that's what you know. That, that's how we may end up with more George Harrison tunes or more McCartney tunes. Who knows?